Okay. Okay. Uh, the first question. Do you believe in equal rights between women and men? Yes, absolutely. Equal rights between women and men. Men, I stand for it, I advocate it, and I agree with it. All right. Is it okay to be a homosexual? If a person wants to be, they are free to be a homosexual. If they don't want to be, they are free not to be a homosexual. But it's not okay to force anyone's opinion on another person. I personally am not homosexual, but I have interacted with so many people who are homosexual. They get along with me just like people who are uh, uh, who are Jewish and Christian and those who don't have a religion and, and so many other people, uh, Hindus and so many more. Recently, I have more people who have told me, you know what, uh, This I am actually homosexual and so on. So it's a secular right to be or not to be. And this is why I say I am not. And if someone else is not, then it doesn't mean they need to promote hatred. They need to promote, uh, you know, mm-hmm. uh, uh, the beating, the, the hitting, the, the, the killing of a person who chooses otherwise. All right. The next question. Can a woman shake hands with a man? Under certain circumstances, yes, she can. You know, in Islam, there is a teaching. And it's uh, in other religions, there are teachings. And it may be in Denmark, there is a teaching. In Zimbabwe, there is a teaching. So whatever your teaching is, you follow it. That's it. You follow it. If you believe, yes, yes. If you believe, no, no. I believe that you are totally free to shake the hand if you want to shake the hand. What's your teaching? My personal teaching, well, I, uh, to be very honest with you, if, I'm, if I have to, I will. If I have to, I will. Okay. When do you have to? Whenever. It's just the circumstance. I mean, it's the circumstance. And everyone interprets their circumstance in a different way. So it's it's fine. And I know there, there are times when I have, and there are times when uh, it, it is avoided. Like sometimes some people don't want to shake my hand because of my color. Sometimes some people don't want to shake my hand because of my, my beard. But in my heart, I love everyone. And, and to be honest with you, it's fine. You know, the, the, the whatever teaching you have, you follow it. That's it. Okay, I, so I have to be honest with you, I have, I have in the past, I have where I have been, where I have had to, then I have. All right. So if I visited you in Zimbabwe, you will shake my hand. Well, if you extend, if you see my big beard and you extend your hand to me, who knows? I, I may shake it. I, I don't know at the time. I don't because I, I really don't know if you will even come to this country. But. Yeah, uh, argumentatively, if you were to come, it's it's okay. I mean, I'm I'm not going to make you feel awkward and upset and so on. And even to be honest with you, uh, if you look at the Islamic teachings, there 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 is more than one ruling about the same thing. All right. Do you believe in freedom of religion? Absolutely, yes. Freedom of religion. Everyone is allowed to choose whatever they want to believe, even within Islam. If they don't agree with you in the same sect, it's okay. We don't promote hate. So they can they can choose to be whatever they want. People can choose even not to have a religion. A lot of people don't believe in any religions. They are free. I believe in that freedom completely. And I do believe that a country like Denmark... Uh, from what I learned about it before this, they're a country that promotes freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of everything. So, I, again, I'm surprised uh, from the freedom of speech, what I may have said, uh, is it not freedom of speech? Come on. I mean, we're, are we not blocking freedom of speech when a guy says, you know, I disagree with uh, X, Y, and Z, for example? And in my case, it's not even a strong disagreement in, in, in certain matters, you know? So, yes, I do believe in freedom of religion. All right. Um, the next one, do you believe in democracy? Democracy is okay. I want to tell you something. From the time of 18 years old, I have voted in every general election in Zimbabwe, including 30 July 2018. If you go to my Instagram, look for the post, 30 July 2018, you will see my finger, and I dipped it in the ink, and I voted, and I told the people. So uh, if, if, I were, if, if I were to show you that evidence, you can believe, yes, this man is, he, he believes it's, you know, that he should vote. So there we are. There are so many different ways of, uh, uh, you know, so many different um, blueprints of democracy. All but right. in general, I have, I have voted every single time since I was 18 years old. Okay. And in fact, in fact, on Twitter, I have more than 4 million followers, but I only follow one person. 
Who is he? He is the democratically elected leader of my country. That's all. All right. I only have uh, one question left, and uh, it is: Okay. Do you still believe that pornography can lead to homosexuality? I think if you look at it, maybe it, it maybe it can maybe it cannot. If pornography is okay in Denmark and homosexuality homosexuality is okay in Denmark and bestiality is okay in Denmark, then what is wrong if pornography leads to homosexuality? Why why are they getting angry with it? Why are they getting angry with that statement? It's freedom of speech to believe that yes it does or no it doesn't. But I am um, the question I have is how does that? Uh, make me a hate preacher. If I say pornography is good or it's not good, uh, I won't. I will not watch it. For example, mm. does it make me a bad person? I mean, I cannot force the whole of Denmark to watch pornography. Say, guys, if you don't watch it, you're not Danish. Or every one of you, please do homosexual sex. If you didn't do homosexual sex, you cannot be Danish. I mean, it, it's it's not fair to say that. And really, I, I'm I, I'm asking because Inge Stoiber did not message me. She did not ask me. She did not send a. Me- uh, she did not convey the message to me. I did, like I said, I didn't try. So I am inviting her through the platform of yourself because you are the one who highlighted this to me, and I was surprised. I'm inviting her to actually go and follow, and to go and see, and to and to actually just study a little bit for herself. So, but if she hates someone uh, as a human being, then I think maybe she needs a small help, and and perhaps that help might come uh, by her opening her heart a little bit to the rest of the people. Not everyone hates you.